This video will feature the HackRF, a Raspberry Pi and various cables, so sit back and stay tuned. I will take a closer look at the latest Mayhem firmware and its new USB to serial feature. What does it mean and how could I use it? I think you understood what I'm trying to achieve, controlling the HackRF directly from a PC. On the HackRF, you just need to plug it to the PC and that's it. Regarding the host side, I'm using computer, but really it could be any device as long as the browser supports the web serial API. And then you need to browse to hackref.app. Here we see we just need to connect the HackRF via USB. I've already done that, so I'm going to click on connect device. While it's working well, there is a catch. For me, I have to manually hit refresh. Now I wanted to show you another idea I had with this feature. I want to be able to use HackRF remotely. And for this, I will use my local area network, Wi-Fi, and a Raspberry Pi. Unfortunately, the beginning of the experiment will cut short due to microSD issue. I will switch to a ThinkPad for the rest of the experiment. As you can see, I'm using two microSD cables. One is OTG to connect the HackRF to it, and the second one is for the power source. Once the connection are Establish. I'm going to connect to the Raspberry Pi as root to install the package USB IP. This package allows USB device to be shared over the network. I will spare you the installation dependencies. Once the installation is completed, I'm going to enable the USB IP underscore host kernel module that will allow the Linux kernel to function as a server for USB IP protocol. Now that's the part where my microSD get corrupted and therefore I'm going to switch to the ThinkPad. And for this, I'm going to show you with the command LS USB that the HackRF is well recognized. Then I'm using the USB IP list to show all the different devices with the USB bus ID. This is going to help us to identify the USB HackRF. And then I will bind the HackRF using the command USB IP bind hyphen B and the bus ID from the HackRF. Then let's check that everything is working as expected using USB IP list hyphen R and localhost. It will list all the USB devices that are currently being shared by the USB IP server running on here the localhost. And here we go, we have the HackRF present in the list. Now I am switching to my second Linux box. The goal is now to attach the HackRF. To do this, we are going to use the command sudo USB IP attach hyphen R, the ThinkPad domain, and hyphen B with the bus USB ID of the HackRF. To check if the HackRF is being attached, I'm going to run a ls USB command. And for this, you could see the output here. I also have the webcam of the ThinkPad attached. It was a previous test and just above there is the Open Moco Blackmagic debug probe, which is a HackRF. I am revisiting the demonstration from the beginning of this video to show you a successful remote connection using the HackRF web application. And it works perfectly. Big thanks to everyone who watched till the end. If this video inspired you, please like and subscribe. Your support is really crucial for this channel to grow. Thank you for joining me on this journey.